welcome to the new generation of 3D human body scanner in motion. Why do we need to scan the human body? Well, the answer is easy, because all products and physical spaces are designed to fit our dimensions. But why do we need to scan the human body while it's moving? Well, because our interaction with the world is always dynamic. Let me introduce you to the world of Move4D and to my colleague, Alfred. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Human Analysis Lab, where we have our Move4D laboratory for research projects. My name is Alfredo, and today I will show you the key technical features of this equipment. Okay, so the first things you see when you get in is that there is plenty of open space between the scanning volume and the modules and that the modules are deliberately placed in two rows to create a free lane to capture go-through motions. The scanning space is quite large. In this case, with a 16-module configuration, it is 2 meters wide, 3 meters long, and 2.8 meters high. We also have a 12-module configuration which keeps the same height but makes the length go from 3 meters to 2 meters. One of the characteristics of Move4D is that you can scale it. You can start acquiring a 12-module configuration of 2x2 two two and a year later extend it to 2x3 two by, by acquiring four additional modules and building a 16-module configuration. Despite the laboratory has a large footprint, we can build Move4D modules with wider optics to fit smaller spaces, bringing the columns closer to the scanning volume. Modules can either be mounted in columns or in walls. Move4D uses a wand calibration method. We chose this method because it makes it very easy and fast to get an accurate and robust calibration. Another characteristic of Move4D that is critical for conducting research is that it can be synchronized with other equipment. It is ready for trigger in, synchro in, and synchro out. For instance, we have installed uh, photo cells at the beginning and the end of the, of the running lane so that it can trigger the scanner. At this moment, we also have a motion capture system with a synchro in, okay? And a set of RGB cameras that are synchronized with synchro out. These examples are related with our ongoing data gathering to develop new technologies based on deep learning from move for the content paired with other biometric signals. But possibilities are endless. This laboratory can open new research lines that we cannot even imagine today. Move4D captures shape and texture simultaneously. Each module captures shape with a pair of infrared cameras and texture with an RGB camera. Lighting elements can be added to the structure to obtain a more uniform texture and color. The fact of capturing shape and texture simultaneously makes it possible to capture at high frequencies. This is up to 178 FPS at medium resolution and 90 FPS at high resolution. At maximum frame rates, the equipment is able to capture 55 seconds at mid resolution and 25 seconds at high resolution. Well, I think it's time to measure, right? First, we are going to capture one person in A pose and then the same person running. Regarding data outcomes, the unique feature of this laboratory is that move for this software incorporates anthropometric and biomechanical processing. What you obtain is a sequence of homologous meshes. A homologous mesh is a textured, watertight mesh of 
50,000 vertices that is fitted to the captured point cloud using AI and proprietary template fitting software. This mesh has a point-to-point -point correspondence along the sequence of frames and across different subjects. It is actually having 50,000 landmarks on the body surface captured. A subset of these landmarks includes key anatomical references and lines. These organized datasets are therefore ready to be used in your research and development work. Moreover, at each frame you can also obtain an estimate of 23 joint positions and a linear blend skinning per frame that can be exported in FBX format. From APOS you can also obtain more than 100 standard static body measurements. Currently, this type of anthropometric and biomechanical processing is conceived to capture humans in tight garments and with fists closed, according to standards. Of course, in addition to this, we can also provide the typical outcomes that any other 3D or 4D scanner provides, like, for instance, a 3D point cloud or a non-organized mesh with holes. Let's see an example. And here we have the captured example. Last but not least, move for the software also enables you to take screenshots and to record videos of the captures which is something certainly very useful to document your work. I think that's all. I return you with Rosa, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, Alfredo. Well, as you have seen, IBB puts a 4D world in your hand. 4D scan can be introduced in your R&D and business pipeline, and for that, you can export the 4D scan in a variety of formats to your analysis and design software, for example, virtual reality broadcasting. Let me introduce you to my friend Paki. Paki has many skins, so many meshes. What's important about the mesh? Let me insist a little bit about something that my colleague Alfredo has already said. What you obtain from MOVE4D is a sequence of homologous meshes. Homologous mesh is texture, watertight mesh of 50,000 vertices that is fitted to the capture point cloud. The most important fact is that this mesh has point-to-point -point correspondence along the sequence of frames and across different subjects. 50,000 landmarks on the body surface capture. You can use all this information to know how shape deforms when performing a movement or when using a garment. One of the unique features of MOVE4D is that it incorporates anthropometric and biomechanical data processing. You see that body dimensions vary as we move. Let's look at her calf muscles or at her shoulders. Are we interested in finding out exactly how its growth varies when she performs a specific movement? Let's see a couple of examples. How do body dimensions or shape change when performing a movement? Well, here you can see how three different measurements change during a jump. Differences in these measurements during the movement range considerably from 2 to 6 centimeters. These results are very relevant as they quantify the effect of a specific movement on body shape and fit during the whole range of the movement. 
40 year scanners will enable a better understanding of the deformation of body soft tissues and the effect of material properties and gamma design in performance. Here you can see the use of the MOVE 4D scanner in a specific application case of the assessment of bra performance. The experiments were registered for a woman running, wearing a low support bra and a high support sports bra. The graphs represent the lateral and vertical displacement of the breast apex surface, quantifying with high accuracy the differences in displacement with both bras. This type of analyse uh, analysis can be made for a few key points if you use classical movement analysis techniques. What makes the difference when using Move 4D scanner is that we can analyze, as you can see in the 4D models of the torso, the deformation of the breast over all their surface, assessing, like never before, how the bra construction will affect its performance. Now you have seen the instrument Move 4D. Let me talk a little bit about us, who we are. IBB is a Spanish research and technological organization. We are a private, non profit company with 40 years' experience in biomechanics, anthropometry, and human factors. We have a multidisciplinary team made up of more than 170 people engineers, computer scientists, physicians, etc. We produce and commercialize high-tech products for the characterization of the human body, exceeding 2,500 clients in more than 14 countries. This means we have a considerable experience within this particular country, this particular industry, obtaining a great track record highlighted in the number of clients we already have. Technical support is essential to move 4D, and we have a strategic partnership with human solutions covering USA, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. We are also very proud to announce that, together with Mescape, we are working in the integration of the simple model in move 4D. In addition, move 4D has a global distribution network covering China and Japan. MUFOD is a system to measure shape and movement at the same time. But above all, what we offer is scientific and technical support to ensure that you boost your R&D activities and business. We would be delighted to answer any question you might have, and we invite you to visit our website. Thank you for your time.